goodliest land so meaningful to so many. And the phrase, variety vacation land, is the current catch line that expresses the full range of exciting things to do and see. Each year, thousands find refreshing solace and solitude on the fragile perimeter of islands or banks, extending from the northeastern corner of the state to its southern peninsula, nearly 300 miles away. The largest island in this chain of outer banks is Hatteras. Extending some 70 miles along this island and embracing more than 28,000 acres of beach and dunes is the Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Commercial enterprise is prohibited, leaving a vast, tranquil area of clean, uncluttered beaches and dunes for camping, fishing, and hiking. South of Hatteras is the island of Ocracoke, most remote populated link in this chain of islands. Ocracoke Village snuggles around Silver Lake, once a frequent rendezvous point for such infamous 18th century pirates as Blackbeard, Steed Bonnet, and Calico Jack. On these banks are many fishing villages that have yielded slowly to change over the years. The fascinating history of this region is stored in the memories of sturdy outlanders who trace their lineage to the earliest days of our nation. I was born here in Avon, North Carolina in the year 1892. And I spent practically my entire life out here on the island. And uh, I remember most all the storms in my lifetime here. Probably the great August storm was the most fierce hurricane in the memory of any of the people living on the banks. Ships, by the scores, beached. The cargoes was littered up and down the beaches. Now, during my lifetime that I've lived out here, there's been a great community. They all love each other. They're always uh, ready to uh, take their harps off the willow trees and play uh, the great music of Avon, Hatteras, Kenneke, and Chipmacomico, and the people are coming down here by the millions to see we people. And they're finding that we're just like all other people in the world, and this is really the uh, Garden of Eden. It is really the whole wire of the Atlantic. The most developed part of the Outer Banks is Nags Head. Overlooking the village is the windswept barren of Jockey Ridge, highest sand dune on the Atlantic and Gulf coasts. A few miles north of Nags Head is Kill Devil Hills, where the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. In a region of so much water and solitude, it's natural to find fish and fishermen. The rivers and creeks yield a wide variety of freshwater game fish. From the surf, anglers catch channel bass, flounder, trout, croakers, bluefish, and other fighting game fish. Beyond the surf and the rusted stacks of the shipwrecks that lie in the graveyard,